this video is going to be my product empties for the month of January and my thoughts on them. But before I get started, I want to give you a good laugh. So I did this video when I got home from the grocery store this morning and I had even prefaced my vlog for the day telling you I was going to come home, shoot this video and get this video here uploaded before you see today's vlog. And it all was going just fine. I did the whole video, it was 10 minutes and some odd seconds long, filmed it in my office. Um, and then when I was done, I got rid of the empty products. Some of them went to the recycle bin, others went just in the garbage can. Uploaded my video and I was fiddling around on the computer, deleting some old files and stuff like videos from a year ago that I just, I don't want them taking up space on the computer anymore. They're on Facebook, I mean not Facebook, they're on YouTube, good enough. So I went back in to check the process, check the progress of this video a little later and it's said 98%. Thought, okay, we're almost done. And I got busy cooking dinner and went back in over an hour later. It's still at 98%. Well, I come to realize after much playing around on the computer, I deleted the movie before it finished uploading. So I had to come out here in the kitchen, dig the stuff out of the garbage can and wash it off, dig bottles out of the recycle bin. So now I'm filming here in the kitchen because I had to wash everything and it's sitting here on my drying mat drying. So now that I've redug everything out of the garbage can, I, I mean, you don't believe the crap that had been put on top of these. I was getting dinner ready. I was slicing vegetables, so all the vegetable waste and stuff, oh, uh, it was gross. Anyway, here's my product reviews for my empty products for January 2017. First I'm going to start with is candles. You know I'm a candle burner. Um, I burn one in my living room and one in my kitchen. And um, hold on, I think someone's at the door. If this video mind. makes it up, it's going to be a miracle. Okay, I'm done being interrupted, I hope. Anyway, I burn a candle in my living room and I burn a candle in my kitchen. And I pretty much do it winter and summer when the windows are closed. Don't burn a whole lot in spring and fall just because I don't want the scent going outside. So one of the ones that I finished up was my Yankee Candle Catching Rays. Not a bad scent. I did not pick this out. This was a gift. Um, again, not a bad scent, just not me. Lasted a while. Nice, strong scent throughout the house. Um, I will not repurchase just because it just wasn't my style of scent. But the picture is beautiful on it. So if you're into the pretty pictures, this is a good choice. The second one I finished up was the Sunset Breeze. Also a Yankee Candle. Also a gift. I did not pick this one out. This was a gift. Again, beautiful picture. This one was super strong. Like, I burnt this one in the kitchen and you could smell this through the living room almost into the bedrooms. Now my apartment is not big, so it doesn't take that much, but this was, again, super strong. Um, again, not a bad scent, just not me. So I won't repurchase this one, but yeah, again, if you're into the pretty picture, it's great. And then the final candle, candle, the final candle, I need to just let this go and not even try. The final candle that I finished was a Bath and Body Works candle. This is the Mahogany Coconut. This scent is fabulous. I love it. Just love it. Um, only complaint I have with Bath & Body is they are all three wick candles. Whether you buy them from Bath & Body Works or you buy them from White Barn. Um, all three wick candles. And they burn down so quick. I mean seriously, it took me no time at all to burn through this candle. So if you don't like the same scent in a room for a month, this is the way to go then because you're changing your scent more often. But for what you pay for these, I just wish they lasted a little longer. Again, this was a gift. I did not buy this one. Um, my youngest daughter has a second part-time job at Bath & Body. So with her employee discount and coupons, she gets these for super cheap. 
Um, so yes, I love this scent. Yes, I would buy it again, but I tend to only buy when I have coupons or if they're having a sale just because of how fast they burn down. Which I like that with Yankee too. I don't buy Yankee candles unless I have a coupon. Um, I'm just cheap like that. I don't really pay full price for hardly anything. So that's it for the candles. I have two, two hand soaps that I finished up this month. First one is Christmas Morning. This is described as crisp Christmas fur with a touch of cranberry. Very good. If they have this scent next year, I will buy it as well. I think that's Bath and Body Works, if I didn't say that. Um, and that's all I use for hand soap is Bath and Body Works. And then this one I had in my bathroom. This is the Sparkling Mint Blossom. And they describe this as chilled mint blossom dipped in powdered sugar. I really like this one. This is the Creamy Luxe hand soaps. I don't like the foaming hand soaps at all. I like just the regular, but they are kind of doing away with those and switching over to this Creamy Luxe line, and I do like that. So um, again, this is from their winter collection. Obviously, so it was Christmas morning. This has little snowflakes on it. It also has the mint flower blossom, so if you're using this in the spring, no big deal. For hair care, I had one product that I finished up. This is the Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Curl Silkening Detangler. This was a total bomb. Flop bomb. Not a good bomb, a bad bomb. Um, this did absolutely nothing to detangle my hair. You've heard me whine in previous videos. Sorry, my bra is falling down now. I am a mess today. Um, you've heard me whine in previous videos about my hair and how it just mats up in the back. It's always got getting tangles in it. It's naturally curly. Um, when I get a shower at night and I have to comb my hair, it's torture. It's torture. And I tried this. I, nothing. Did nothing. And again, I don't know that it's a bad product. It probably just is not enough to deal with somebody with super thick curly hair. Um, it's probably meant more for children, people with fine or thin hair. I think it's just, it, it, it's not touching this. So no, I would never repurchase this. Body wash that I finished up this month was the Frosted Coconut Snowball. Anything with a coconut scent, you can pretty much figure I'm going to love. Um, and yes, I love this. I actually bought a couple of these right before Christmas with coupons. So I have enough for next Christmas too, um, or even to use yet this winter. So yes, I would definitely repurchase this. It's a great, it's a refreshing scent, but yet it has that summer coconut feel to it too. So yes, love this one. And then my last product is skincare, face wash in particular. This is the Andalou Naturals line. Um, I tried this as a recommendation from another YouTuber, and this person only buys vegan and cruelty-free cosmetics. So I thought I would give it a try because God knows I love my animals, but y'all know I'm not vegan because I do eat my meat too, so it's kind of a fine line there. Anyway, um, I tried this one, which is the Apricot Probiotic Cleansing Milk. I had also used their Meyer Lemon Cleanser. Not a fan. Um, they're just not, it's like they're too gentle. I keep a face wash in the shower, which is what the, where this one was, and then I also keep one under my bathroom sink. When I get ready in the morning, you've seen that in previous videos, I wash my face with the Aveeno that's at the bathroom sink right now. But then I keep a separate one in the shower, again, just because I don't want to have to constantly be moving the one back and forth, because I know I'm going to get in the shower to wash my face when I take a bath at night, and I'm not going to have my cleanser because it'll be at the sink. Anyway, that's why I keep two. So this was the one I was using at night. Now I always take my makeup, my eye makeup off before I get in the shower at night. Um, but you know, you, can, you still have a little bit that may hang around under here and then I, I just hop right in the shower and wash my face when I'm washing my hair and my body. This could not cut through any kind of leftover eye makeup at all. Just nothing. It just smeared. It, it, it couldn't cut through it. Um, and I never felt like my face was clean. Like I'm not, wasn't looking for like, you know how when you get skin that's too tight, almost too clean? Um, it's not what I'm looking for, but I don't want to feel like I still have a residue on my face. And that's kind of what this 
made me feel like. This particular one is age defying for dry and sensitive skin. I have skin like leather, basically. It's not sensitive. I don't struggle with breakouts. Um, it's not like oily in some spots and dry in others. It's not, I just have normal skin. Um, I don't ha see how it's more, I don't see how it is not more damaged than what it already is just because of the amount of time that I have spent in the sun and in tanning beds in my life. Um, so torturing my skin the way I do, it's still in really good shape, but no, I will not repurchase this line whatsoever. So that is it for my product empties. Now I'm going to carefully walk this memory card into the computer and upload this and not touch my computer till it's done. So, and then I'll finish my vlog later. So I will see you in a future video. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and share it. And I will see you soon. And of course, Bye. I forgot one. I thought I did. Um, the other thing that I finished up was the Jennifer Aniston perfume. I had bought this at Target a while back. Um, good price point. Um, if you're looking for a perfume that you don't want to have to go to Ulta or a high-end department store to buy, this is a drugstore brand, I guess you'd call it, um, like $30 a bottle. I loved it when I smelled it at Target, and then when I, I sprayed it into the air and smelled it, and I sprayed it on one of those cards and smelled it, and I really liked it. Got it home, and then I didn't like it on myself. Um, I still used it. I don't waste anything. Other people liked it on me. I had have gotten several remarks when I'm wearing that um, from people that say, oh, you smell good, what are you wearing? Um, so obviously other people like the way it smelled on me. I just didn't, so I probably won't repurchase it just because I like to, I, if I'm going to smell myself, I want to enjoy the smell. <laughs> oh, this video is just going, this video is going haywire. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up this load, up this load. Oh my God, I'm done. I'm done.